a lot of folks have been asking, um, how do we separate some of your leads? Closed, uh, in like kind of little buckets, closed leads, uh, in progress leads, pending leads, uh, things like that. So what we've got here, if you head over to a lead, jump into the contact record, hit the show lead details button. Remember, this is closed now. When you open up your lead details, you don't have this information anymore like it used to be. You've got to click on it to open it up and pipeline stages. So I've already pre-set up in my shop boss some pipeline stages, closed, under contract, client, contacted, new lead. You can change these yourself if you like. And we do here to do that, we can go over to settings. We can settings on the left side, the toolbar across the top, all the way at the end, pipeline stages. And here you can see the pipeline stages I've already created for myself. Your accounts will not have any stages in here because you may do things a little differently. So some people may want a, a stage that says you want to add um, uh, someone who's not yet contacted. I'm going to add that, save. So you have to go in here from settings, pipeline stages, and set up your own pipelines because everybody's got a different sort of uh, heading that they use for their pipelines. So closed, under contract, client, contacted, new lead, other things I use. Someone may want not contacted yet. Somebody may want a pending instead of under contract or a deal that fell apart. Either way, you can go to pipeline stages, add any of the pipeline stages you like by clicking add pipeline and just coming up with whatever name you want to make it. Could be, uh, it could be anything. So we're giving you that option to kind of create your own rather than pigeonhole and you just stuck with the things that we already have. So real easy there. And you can now search your pipeline stages from the dashboard. That will be super important here as well. So we see Jerry Garcia. He is closed in his pipeline stage because I was working him as a lead. Under lead details, I chose to make him a closed lead. So if he was a under contract lead, I would just change under contract, hit OK. Now if I go back to my dashboard, we'll see that Jerry has been changed to under contract. So now you can sort your pipeline stages by the name or the title you wanna give them. You wanna do this because you may wanna mass email or mass text some people. So let's talk about that too, because that's pretty cool.